The iconic image of the Seven Sisters coastline with its sweeping chalk cliffs and its Coast Guard cottages is known the world over. Millions visit this area of outstanding natural beauty along the Sussex coastline every year. But the cottages sit perilously close to the cliff edge and so are under constant threat of being lost to the sea. All of this is what got sucked away in 2013. After a ferocious storm two years ago, resident Lucy Mutter lost 60 foot of garden. And just a few days ago, with the remnants of Storm Imogen, another gaping hole has appeared. It looked a bit like sand disappearing from an hourglass, if you can imagine like that. Walking across the tons of stone that's been placed here to hold back the sea, you're faced with a 15 foot high steel wall, but it's rusting and needs replacing. They're weakened uh, very much more. The sea will get in behind them and it will erode not only the cliff, but also, of course, endanger the cottages themselves. So the requirement really is to strengthen these sea defences. Uh, and the initial work that needs to be done urgently is to replace and strengthen the sheet piling that you see behind us and to take it up the valley in a way that enables the sea to go up the valley round rather than be battering at this cliff face. The cottages were built for the Coast Guards who watched over the shoreline. Des and Betty, both in their 80s, are descendants of one of the original Coast Guards. They were here to counter the smuggling right along the coast. That's right, yeah. Maintaining their home, they say, is a constant and costly battle. If something goes wrong, you're awake and you've got to get up and repair it because you can hear the noise, yes. something's coming loose, and out you go and get, get, it, get it fixed. Make sure the chimney's on top. <laughs> With no public funds available, residents have launched a campaign to raise £200,000 to upgrade the temporary defences on either side of the sea wall. Volunteer Anthony Albrecht says the money can't come soon enough. We've developed a, a wonderfully innovative crowdfunding approach to attempt to secure our sea defences for generations to come and uh, we'd, we'd invite people from all over the world to contribute. Carolyn and her family have lived here 26 years. She accepts they can't stop nature taking its course but they hope at least they can slow it down. It's too large for the private pocket. So for £200,000 we could maintain this view 25, 50 years, perhaps longer. And I think that's worthy. I consider myself a guardian and these cottages in this location seem to capture people's imagination. And they come down here, people flock down here, all weathers. And they just, it, it's romantic, it's a spiritual experience, it's quite extraordinary. Residents accept they're fighting a losing battle, and at some point the sea will claim the cottages. But if they can raise enough money to preserve them for another 50 years, they say it's worth it.